Hello, my name is Steve Druchel. I'm a professor of civil engineering here at Minnesota State Mankato. I'm here to talk to you about the, the course that I oversee, which is the capstone project, our senior design project. Every uh, program of civil engineering that is accredited by ABET, long story there, but the accreditation is allowing your degree that is from Minnesota to be recognized wherever you would like to practice in all the states and most of the countries of the world. So a Minnesota degree means you can get your license in Colorado or Arizona or South Carolina or Maryland, and it's a wonderful thing, or overseas. And it allows you to get that license and practice wherever you want. One of the requirements of accreditation is that you do a capstone. And a capstone is this really magical thing that takes everything you've learned in your degree, all 45 or so courses, pulls them together, and you do one project on that that has all these pieces in it. And it's like, oh my goodness, it's, it's a big thing. And ours, our program is a two semester program. So the fall, you work on feasibility study, which is coming up with the various ideas for study. You know, like we're gonna suggest, hmm, client has a, pro has a concern or wants a project, we're gonna come up with alternatives that the client then will evaluate. And then the spring semester is when we do the design for that. Well. We believe that in this magical classroom called Capstone, that ideas should be large and powerful. Big ideas, they used to call them here at Minnesota State Mankato. And our big ideas are required to have a couple of things. First, they have to have many of the disciplines, if not most of the disciplines, that civil engineering is. We have to have a project that blends all of the courses that we've had and experiences. And then second, it has to be a real project. None of this fake stuff. Oh, let's play in the sand. No, this is real. So real site, real neighbors, uh, real regulations, real codes of, of municipalities. And that sometimes means, you know, neighbors can get upset if you don't do it right. Um, you gotta work through that. But real ground so that you have real, sometimes confusing results to your tests, for example, that you have to figure out. Welcome to real life. But more than that, our projects should be to serve. Our projects are designed that they make a difference in the world and that we're trying to help out our communities and our neighbors around. And we usually work in the Mankato area or within about 30 miles. Why? So that you can get to these sites and actually walk on that ground and maybe meet the neighbors. Hello neighbors. And then you calm them down and help them figure it out. Well, when you have big magical projects, you need a big magical stage. And I'd like to just show you that. So allow me to be a little bit of a, a known as for my drama side. And I'd like to show you the room that you'll present in in the fall if you are in our program. And wow, it's big and it's empty. Yes, this is COVID-19 world, so there, no one's here right now. But I would like to walk out with you and say, have you look and imagine when you are trying to present your problem and your project and say, uh oh Oh, no, no, no. You don't say it. Uh-oh. You say, Hello, Mankato! Welcome to our senior design presentation. We are here to show you how we have considered the site constraints, the site geology, the site transportation, the water resources, and the environmental side, and building structure. And this room is full, and they lean in and they start to lean and want to hear from you about your ideas. Not generic, not something that's canned, not something that is out of a flat, sterile, empty, thin textbook, but real sites and real projects. And in this room, have we have started our projects where um, 28 of our projects to date, we're, we're kind of a young program, usually do two to three a year, and two to three teams, teams of up to 12. And you know, gotta be a big project if you're gonna feed all that many people. But out of those 28 projects, Minnesota State Mankato, civil engineering, 23 of 28 have been built or used in some fashion. I counted just the other day. And it is really cool to be able to drive around and see your projects and see what you worked on built on the landscape. And it starts in this room, with this room full of people. We've had up to 175 people listening to our, our, our talks. And they're not all just, well, there's some happy parents. Oh, 
that's so wonderful. You can put up anything and I'd be so happy. No, you've got the neighbors. You've got the people that cross the room and go, okay, rookie, what do you got for me? Make it good. And you do. And it is amazing when a room full of people like this get up and applaud your idea. Minnesota State Mankato, this is where big ideas happen. Honestly, truly, civil engineering, come and save the planet with us. Hope to see you.